We've talked to this young man a couple of times for third place finishes after our D. Smith Chevrolet Dirt Late Model Series races. Here is uh, part of the rockauto.com winter shootout. But tonight, round seven here at Cochran Motor Speedway uh, after the 40 lap $2,000 to win main event, Pearson Lee Williams has moved up to the head of the class. We are talking to our winner tonight. That's got to feel good. It really does. Uh, you know, we've talked a little bit in, in Brunswick and even when we were signing in, trying to try to figure out if I can be lucky enough to, to move up from third and uh, put a little bit more in it, and we finally moved up. A good race. Uh, the first 29 laps of the race with uh, Jeremy Faircloth. Uh, looked like he had a, uh, some kind of an issue in turn two and moved up the banking. That opened up the bottom for you. Drove underneath him to take the lead. And then when you got back to uh, turn one, uh, looked like uh, the two of you got together there. Tell us about what happened. Yeah, it was just uh, hard racing on a on a good racetrack. It was, uh, you know, I don't blame I don't blame nobody for that. You know, it was just good racing, and uh, yeah, me and Jeremy real good friends, and uh, we know we don't put this friend you know, this uh, racing thing between our friendship. So uh, it still it still was a good race, and uh, but it was good. During the uh, caution period, uh, Jeremy kind of did a brake check there on the front straightaway. You got into the back end of him. As a young driver, does that kind of uh, play with your mindset a little bit? Not really. That just gave me the urge to uh, go out there and be flawless and uh, take the win. I knew I was going to be starting back on the pole, so I just had to calm down and uh, be, uh, be flawless because I know we had some hot, heavy hitters right behind me. Well, you had Chase Edge that threw everything, but the kitchen sink at you spun out on the last lap and uh, cruised home for that first career win. Now, uh, this is pretty close to your hometown of Dublin, Georgia, so I'm sure you'll be back tomorrow. Uh, have you learned anything tonight that uh, can make that 121 Dublin tire car a little bit faster for tomorrow's 50-lap, uh, $2,500 to win event? Um, a little bit. Uh, learned a lot about the car tonight. This is actually our first time with this car at this track. Um, so I'm going to go back go back to the drawing board, see what else we can do to get a little bit faster. And, uh, and maybe we can double down this weekend, do the sweep. You know, two-thirds and a win in your first three races with the East Smith Chevrolet Dirt Laid Model Series. Uh, I think we see a young star in the future here. We start the regular touring season in April up in Tennessee. Have you thought at all about maybe running for the Cruiser with the Champions Rookie of the Year title for 2016? Uh, I've actually been thinking about it really hard. Uh, with my job in North Carolina now, it kind of limits my racing a good bit, but uh, we have a good sit down and talk with uh, with my mom and dad, and we, we, may, we may have to chase it. Just uh, everybody stay tuned. Well, with finishes like that, not only can you contend for the Rookie of the Year, you might have a shot at a national championship. Yeah, that'd be awesome. You know, this right here is my is my uh, my biggest win of my career, and uh, I've always dreamed about coming out here and, and winning like national torn series like this, and it's uh, it's amazing. Former P.L. Williams, winner tonight at Cochran Motor Speedway in round seven of the RockAuto.com Winner Shootout for the Neesmith Chevrolet Dirt Late Bottle Series. <laughs>